Hi YouTube. This is me, Mary, once again. I wanted to read a little bit from this book, The Four Agreements. Um, Miguel, um, Don Miguel Ruiz. Um, this is one of the agreements. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. The seeds are opinions, ideas, and concepts. You plant a seed of thought and it grows. The word is like a seed and the human mind is so fertile. The only problem is that too often it is fertile for the seeds of fear. Every human mind is fertile, but only those, but only for those kinds of seeds that is paired for. What's important is to see which kinds of seeds our mind is fertile for, and to prepare it to receive the seed of love. Take the example of Hitler. He sent out all those seeds of fear and they grew very strong and beautifully achieved massive destruction. It did happen because he planted that seed in there, the, the people's mind about the Jews and what they were doing and the people started believing that propaganda and, and that's, that's really scary. Seeing the awesome power of words, we must understand what power come out of our mouths. One fear or doubt planted in our mind can create an endless drama of events. One word is like a spell, and humans use the word like black magicians, thoroughly putting spells on each other. Hmm, it's kind of like when you go to church every Sunday, the man in the pulpit, the preacher, he's constantly reinforcing these, this propaganda and actually putting a spell on you. Every human is a magician and we can either put a spell on someone with our words or we can release someone from a spell with our words. We cast spells all the time with our opinions. An example, I see a friend and give him an opinion that just popped into my mind. I say, hmm, I see that kind of color in your face in people who are going to get cancer. If he listens to the word and if he agrees, he will have cancer in less than one year. That is the power of one word. During our domestication, our parents and siblings gave their opinions about us without even thinking. We believed the opinions and we lived in fear over these opinions, not like not being good at swimming or sports or writing. Someone gave an opinion and says, look, this girl is ugly. The girl listens and believe she is ugly. She grows up with the idea that she is ugly. It doesn't matter how beautiful she is, as long as she has that agreement, she will believe she is ugly. That is the spell she is under. So that's what he's talking about, the agreement. When you agree to what people say about you, that makes the word of the spell effective. You have to agree to it. By hooking our attention, the word can enter our mind and change a whole belief for better or for worse. Another example, you may believe you're stupid and you may have believed this for as long as you can remember. This agreement can be very tricky causing you to do a lot of things just to ensure that you are stupid. You may do something and think to yourself, I wish I were smart. 
but I must be stupid or I wouldn't have done that. The mind goes in hundreds of different directions and we could spend days getting hooked just by that one belief in our own stupidity. This reminds me of a time I did, I mean, I've done a whole lot of stupid things, but this particular thing I did was very stupid. My uh, ex-husband, I don't know, he was doing something, and he wouldn't fix, I want him to fix a lamp. He kept putting it off. I'll get it, I'll get around to it. Just wait, just wait. So, I just, I got tired. I said, I'll fix this thing myself. So, I, I ripped the lamp apart and got another plug and put the wires, wrapped the wires around the little screw and put the lamp back together. And I was getting ready to plug the lamp up. And you know that same old voice I tell y'all about says, don't plug that, don't put that lamp in that plug. I said, hmm, what could happen? I put that lamp in that plug and just uh, my fingernails, I got shot, all my fingernails on that hand just burned up. All electricity in the house went out and it was summertime and the AC went out. It was horrible. It was just, and I'm looking at some, how did, it was a stupid thing. And my ex came and he said, now that was stupid. You do some things, but this was the most stupid thing you did. So since that, I have been afraid of electricity. I just, uh, I mean, there are a lot of things I would fool with. I'll go into the house and do plumbing and go on top of the house, roofing, all of that. But I will not fool with electricity because of that. And that was that was a stupid thing. I shouldn't have done that. But that, but when people tell you you're stupid, that reinforces when you do stupid things. We all make mistakes. And it's just the list goes on and on of the stupid, dumb things I have done. It's just the grace of the good Lord that I'm sitting here right now. Okay, let me continue. Uh, believe in our own stupidity. Then one day, someone hooks your attention and using the word lets you know that you are not stupid. You believe that person. You believe what that person says and make a new agreement. As a result, you no longer feel or act stupid. Uh, the whole spell is broken just by the power of the word. Conversely, you believe, if you believe you're stupid and someone hooks your attention and says, yes, yes, you are really the most stupid person I ever met, the agreement will be reinforced and become even stronger. So, if you, if you, I mean, at my age, it's not too much people can say about me and <laughs> and make me, you know, change my path or anything and tell me I'm stupid or I'm ugly or all that. But I went through that when I was younger. And if you are around people who say that kind of stuff and you a sinner, are you this, are you ugly? And, and you listen to that stuff. You just, you'll always go down. But surround yourself with um, people who are going to reinforce what you are looking for, what you are weak. You need somebody to reinforce you, not tear you down. So that's all I want to talk about today. I'm just sitting here having a, an easy day and enjoying just relaxing. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, and it's, it's, I don't know, that's a good day for me. I mean, every day is a good day, but even if you don't have a significant other or boyfriend or something, love yourself and just love the, the day you're living in the time and just give yourself a, give yourself a good hug because you can't love someone else until you love yourself, okay? I'll talk to you.